everyone, my name is Tash and I'm an artist based in the UK and this week we are doing daily art creative tasks in the theme of lizards. I love to encourage creativity for wellness and well-being so that's why I'm doing these every day and I pulled out a ticket yet the other day and it said lizards so that has to be the theme of the week before it was pandas and it's been lots of fun so today we're going to work on a sketch version of a lizard and you can follow along you can do it with me or you can just watch okay don't forget to follow me so that you can get uh, hold of the videos for the rest of the other daily challenges okay guys okay everyone I have found the picture of the lizard that I want to draw um, it took me a while to find one that I really wanted to draw but I've got it so it's a lizard on a branch so first thing what I'm gonna do is just gently mark in the branch I'm not gonna do it too hard because I do not want to um, I'm gonna be drawing over the branch as well and drawing the lizard coming over the branch so I need to adjust the thickness because I'm squeezing my picture into a small space and so I need to get him on. So his tail starts coming down here and there's a bit of branch sticking out the end and then his tail comes up a bit and then he starts to kind of curve round which is where his head comes in. And so he's got this really kind of strange, it's almost like a, I think lizards are a bit like dinosaurs, aren't they? They're like mini dinosaurs. They've obviously survived that Jurassic age somehow, come back. Right, so this is the head. Now I'm trying to squeeze it in. So I obviously haven't left enough space and I'm talking too much and not concentrating. Less talking, more doing Tash. I think what we're going to do is make him a bit smaller again. I'm having to adapt like the size of the image I'm looking at. And think about uh, sort of adjusting according to that. Right, so it has this weird thing on top of its head. And then it comes over an eye here but it's like a really big googly eye so I'm just doing the outline for now so if you're looking at it thinking that's weird okay it's gonna look weird because it is just the initial outline and actually he does look a bit weird <laughs> to be honest still struggling to kind of fit the whole shape in because it comes down quite low he's the bottom of his face right so we come across with the mouth here and then we're just drawing some little lines and then he has this big thing that's on top of his head but it twists and goes behind okay and then this bit comes around the front as well okay can you see <laughs> nearly had you out of shot then okay so he comes round We've got a leg here. Yeah, the branch definitely needs to be much lower down. So let's just put the branch in last of all. <coughs> right, there's kind of a, um, a leg here that is then clasping round and comes round like that and clasps round. So you can sort of see where the branch is gonna go. So I could actually, now that I've done that, draw in the new branch. And hopefully that will be a better size reference for me. Yeah, okay. So I'm kind of just drawing things in relation to others, thinking like, where does that leg go? Where's that leg gonna go? Right, there's another leg here. But this one is just kind of curling round and resting it's not actually doing anything in particular and then it comes up and over like that and then this is underneath here so we've got the body here it's coming along it comes down a bit and then the tail is swinging down and it does that thing where it curls so it's quite fat to start with and then it comes around and it starts to get a bit thinner and then just comes 
comes down into that shape. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of perfect the shape a little bit more. That's it. And what we'll do in a minute is we'll go in and we'll do a little bit of shading detail as well. Um, and I'm just going to lightly go over with the eraser because we've pressed quite hard. And I don't want to do that just yet. So we're going to try and shade it a bit as well. He is a very strange creature though. Right. And so let's start here with his face. So this thing that comes around has kind of got an inside bit to it as well. And it comes over his eye around and then back up again from the front. Please remember this is just quick sketch time. I'm not taking a long time over this, so please don't ex expect my wildlife art standards. It isn't gonna happen. It can't happen. Right, that's the eye, the googly eye. Um, that mouth kind of just is a bit weird. So we'll do that. Right now, as its kind of body comes down here from its face, it's kind of got these wrinkly lines like it's an old. And then it's got these funny little spikes here, around the front. And then all the way across, I'm gonna do them now because it's got little spikes all the way across the top as well. So I'm gonna do those as well. And then it will look more lizard-like. And then they start to disappear once it gets to the tail. The tail doesn't have any. Okay, so just coming in and making sure I've got that how I want it. Perfect. Okay, and so now we've come to the leg. It kind of goes over like that. Bit of a knobbly knee. <laughs> and then it comes down kind of rounded. But then the foot kind of it looks like it's just over the edge and it's just kind of resting on the branch there okay and it comes round and then like that and then this starts to come down for the tail so where the tail is there's lots of wrinkles and all I do for that is just draw in some little curves in there and then the same with the tail where you get um, where it's curling round, excuse that noise. Okay, um, I did pause it while it did its thing. It was the air pressure pump for my um, for my heat press because it's all it's a uh, pneumatic. Right. Okay. So there's a bit of a twig. We can do some lines on that in a bit. So now we're going to draw in another little line there, showing the wrinkles as the claw comes round. And the same on the leg, we can just draw some little wrinkles around there. And we're gonna make this leg come out and down. So it's gonna have lots of wrinkles here that are kind of just around there and maybe coming up from there too. Um, I can see lots of detail that I'm not gonna be able to get in just because I just don't have the space. So the bigger you do things, the more detailed you can get. But these are just quick ske daily sketches. So I didn't want it to be big, otherwise I'd be here forever. And then we could put some patterning on, but I'm not too sure. I'm gonna come round on the tail there a bit as it curls as well. Um, it's got another foot behind here. We could draw that in, but just shade it in like that can't actually see the other side of the foot and then there is another leg here obviously um, so we'll just shade that one in as well 